Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Path University's online information session. This session is all about our Doctor of Health Science program. Um, my name is Anastasia Skrmuli. I'm the Director of Graduate Admissions here at Bay Path, and I'm thrilled to be here with Dr. Julie Watson, who's the Program Director for our DHSC program. Um, so this session is really designed to give you an overview of the program, the admissions process, a little information about financial aid, but um, the kind of the fun portion is really most commonly asked questions. It really gives you an idea of what this program entails. Um, so let's get started and kind of learn a little bit about Bay Path University. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar, we are a not-for-profit private institution founded in 1897. We do have three campuses. Two of them are in Massachusetts. They're about four miles apart. Um, and then our online um, community is where the Doctor of Health Science program is housed. We do have over 3,300 students. This does include our graduate, undergraduate, and doctoral level students. So we are a fairly small, intimate institution, but we do have an ever-growing alumni population. Um, it's over 17,000 worldwide, which is absolutely incredible. And then as an institution, we are accredited um, by the New England Commission of Higher Education. One of the many reasons of why students choose Bay Path University is because of our really flexible and accessible approach to learning. Um, this program being 100% online gives you that flexibility in so many different ways of continuing to work, attend to your families and have a little free time. Um, we have an extremely supportive faculty and staff. Um, you know, our faculty have been there and done that. So they know exactly how it is to be a doctoral level student. We have an engaging and diverse community, an innovative approach to learning, and then immediately applicable knowledge. Everything you're going to learn in the classroom will be applicable to your careers. And now I'm going to pass things over to Dr. Watson to chat with you guys about the program. Thank you so much, Anastasia. So as Anastasia mentioned, the program is designed for working professionals. The vast majority, I would say close to 100% of our students are working full time. Uh, in their fields while completing their doctoral degree. So it, we really mindfully, thoughtfully designed this program for people who were working. Um, so it, it's not a traditional program where you have to work part time or you know you can't work at all to do your doctoral degree. Um, it really is um, accessible for anyone uh, who's interested in going back to school while they're still working. The program is 48 credits, which is 16 courses. We have 12 different career focused concentrations and we have start dates every fall and spring. The program, as Anastasia said, is 100% online. So you can access the course content um, asynchronously, which means at a time and place that's convenient for you. And we do have options for synchronous meetings However, to be mindful of your constraints as a working professional and family member, um, we do not usually require those meetings um, and we record them so that you're still able to hear the information, to ask questions of the faculty after viewing a video, um, but you're not required to be there at a certain place and time, except for very, very limited times. One of those being when you present your research at the end of the program. Um, but we always set up times that work for students and are happy to accommodate uh, meetings outside the typical right office hours, um, knowing that you might not be able to meet with us uh, during you know, your business hours. And you can complete the program in as few as eight semesters which works out to be two years and two terms. So it's about, um, you know, two years and six to seven months. And then we also have options though for students who want to accelerate and finish a little bit more quickly or students who want to take a little bit longer time uh, to complete the program. So there is flexibility with how long it takes you to complete the program. And I'm happy to work with students individually to work out that plan of study um, that works best for them and their work and family schedule. Here you can see a list of our specialty tracks. Um, some of these do require that you have a specific background as a clinician. For example, the advanced OT practice um, 
concentration, the advanced trauma-informed counseling concentration, the behavior analysis concentration, each of those does require that you have a clinical background um, in those specific areas. Now, the other concentrations are open to anyone who's interested in developing their career in that area. So if you're not sure about what concentration to pick or you would like to take um, you know, a different, different electives from different areas, the generalist concentration is a great option for students who are either not sure or know that they wanna take maybe you know, a course in online teaching but they also want to take a course in leadership and negotiation or productive aging. Um, so that way you are able to really choose your concentration. So that's what that generalist concentration is for. Um, it allows you to design your own concentration, so to speak. So if you're not sure about concentrations, because we do have such a wide variety of them, um, I love this because we get a wide variety of students from all sorts of different healthcare backgrounds, which really strengthens our program and does recreate in a way the you know, healthcare environment where there's a lot of different professionals from different backgrounds working together and you know, collaborating on different classes and projects and ideas and thoughts and discussions. Um, so it really enriches the program that we have such a wide array of students from, from different um, healthcare professions. The other thing we get asked a lot about is the doctoral research project. So with this project, you have the opportunity to address a health science research or practice problem. We work with students to choose a topic that they are passionate about and interested in because you're going to be spending a whole year working on this project. It's very important that it's something that you right, aren't going to lose interest in pursuing. And so we have a proposal process that really helps students develop their ideas to make sure that they are feasible and practical for the time frame that is set up for the courses and that it's something that is going to contribute to the knowledge body in your profession. Now, sometimes people are concerned about engaging in a research project, but the courses that you are taking in this program are going to prepare you to do this project, to implement it, design it, and evaluate it. Now, the thing that's different about our research project courses are that they are an individualized project, but you are actually working in three consecutive courses to complete your project in a small learning community. So you're gonna be with other students who are doing projects similar to yours so that you can learn from each other and support each other through the process. You also have a faculty member in addition to a subject matter expert that are there to help support you through that research process. So this is a little bit of a different model from most other programs that are similar to ours. And our students have reported that it really helps them through the process. And we've had great success with students completing their research projects on time and graduating on time as a result. So this research project is um, just a different way of helping students to be successful um, and support their writing, because that's another area that we find that students can sometimes you know, have difficulty with, but we have resources to support you. We know the tough points that students struggle on during these research projects, and we have supports in place to help them through. So I think that this is definitely an area that really differentiates our program, um, but it's so exciting to see the fruition of students' projects and in fact, we continue to work with students to publish manuscripts and present presentations in their field. Now, our online courses, we utilize Canvas, which is a learning management system that is highly interactive and very easy to use. 
Um, in fact, we have had students that come to the program that have never taken an online class before, and they are 100% able to hit the ground running with Canvas. There is a free orientation for students, so you are really up to speed with Canvas, whether that is because you've used a different learning management system in the past, or you've never taken an online course before. So you'll be ready to go when you complete that, that online orientation. And the thing I love about Canvas is that you can access it from your phone or computer, obviously, but the phone, it can be really handy so that on a break or during your lunch hour, you're able to read one of your readings or watch one of the videos or even participate in one of the discussions that you're doing in the class. Um, so you're, it helps you to integrate the schoolwork into your life um, in a way that is manageable. Canvas has telecommunication and video capabilities that are integrated right into right, that learning management system. So you're not having to worry about using a bunch of different apps or learning how different apps work because you can access everything just in one place. The other thing that is really important to note with Baypath is that we have a ded dedicated online support team to help you. Um, our IT is amazing. They have evening hours and weekend hours. So I know a lot of students will think, oh, well, I'll never get to you know, talk to IT because they only work typical business hours. But that is just not true. We are, Baypath is very thoughtful about making sure that the resources we have are accessible to our distance learning students at times that are convenient to them. Thank you so much. So when it comes to student financial services, we have an amazing team who are experts in this area. They are available via phone, email. You can stop by in person um, if you live locally, um, but they're here to answer any questions that you might have. And they do hold a very similar to what you're experiencing now, um, an online information session, but it's all about learning how to pay for graduate school. It happens once a month. Um, they alternate usually between 12 and 5 p.m just to accommodate different um, populations and work schedules and whatnot. Um, they also have FAFSA Fridays. This is where you can have live help filling out your financial aid application or ask any questions pertaining to financial aid. And we do have Stafford loans available through FAFSA of up to $20,500 per year with no income limit. When it comes to graduate admissions, um, in order to be eligible for this doctoral program, you do need to have a master's degree in healthcare or health science related field. Um, we also do require a one year full time work experience within health sciences um, and healthcare. Um, field as well. We um, do require a 3.0 and a 4.0 scale when it comes to the GPA. And then the first step in the entire process is to complete your online application. Honestly, it's so easy. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete, but it's free and it's right on the Baypath University website. Once you apply, I will guide you through the entire process of what you submit, where to submit it, um, what is the deadlines, things like that. I'll guide you through the entire process. You won't be left behind. Um, but just to prepare of what you need to submit, it will be all of your official college and university transcripts. We'll need two professional um, or academic recommendations. We have a specific form that the recommenders must fill out. Uh, if they want to do an additional letter to that, that's perfectly fine, but they are required to do that form. You'll need to submit an essay. It's pretty short, um, really describing why this doctoral program is important to your personal and professional goals. We'll need your current resume. And then um, one of the more important things that needs to be submitted um, is your writing sample. This writing sample can be from your master's degree as long as it is done in the APA format using references. That is what we use at Baypath University for our format. Um, so we really need to see um, a writing sample of your work. And then lastly, as Dr. Watson has mentioned, there's three different concentrations that require um, licensure in order to be eligible for those concentrations. So um, if you choose one of those three, then we'll need your licensure as well. And then we are enrolling for fall and spring semesters. Um, so definitely submit your application. I'll guide you through the process um, and kind of get things going. 
um, for whichever start that you're interested in. This is Dr. Watson's and I contact information. If you have any program or admissions questions, please reach out to us. We are here to help and assist you in any way that we can and answer all of your questions. So please reach out. Um, no question is big or small, so please do. Um, but we'll kind of dive in. Speaking of questions, dive in into the most commonly asked questions when it um, pertains to this program. With one of them, and over this a little bit, but the more importantly is like, are there breaks? You know, am I gonna go through this straight through? Um, but how long does it take to complete the program and are there any breaks within the program? Yes, great. So as I mentioned, typically students complete the program in eight semesters, which is about two and a half years, just over that. Um, however, as I mentioned, students are able to complete the program faster if they want or even slower if they want, right? So how long really depends on their schedule and you know what works best for them. Um, but as far as breaks, the way that the program works is the vast majority of courses actually are 14 weeks long and students take two courses at a time. When they do that, that is how they do the eight term completion. Um, and so in those 14 weeks, there is a break in the middle of the classes and then again at the end. So between each semester, there can be anywhere from two to four weeks of a break. So it, there really is time to disconnect from school, hopefully take some time off from work and you know really take a break from all of it um, i strongly believe that that work-life school balance is very important so there are breaks built in you're definitely not going you know year round um, with some of the concentrations they do have eight week courses instead of 14 week courses but they're really able to seamlessly fit into the student's schedule and everybody will still get a break um, even if they're taking one of those courses so when it comes to this program with this program being 100 percent online how interactive is this program so really there's some great opportunities for interaction um, we take a limited sized cohort um, for the fall and spring starts and that means that we are really able to give personal attention to each student and get to know them one-on-one -on -one. Um, as I mentioned, Canvas is set up to be very interactive. And we have experienced faculty um, who have been teaching online and know the best principles of online teaching. So they have really set things up to facilitate interactive and engaging learning experiences for students. We use video, but asynchronously um, for discussion sometimes so you can get a feel for your classmates. Um, we also do have synchronous sessions um, so that you can attend and meet people in person live. Um, there's also what we call co-curricular events. So we will have like guest speakers come and talk about an important topic for the program and students can attend that. Um, we also offer journal club meetings and even just um, sessions where students come together to talk about an important topic. And those are open to students in both master's and doctoral programs in the School of Health and Natural Sciences. So it allows for you to even meet students outside of your program and faculty outside of your program. Um, so it really is interactive. We do have an online learning, a true online learning community, which I think is really unique. Um, and obviously we are always open to setting up live meetings with students um, via phone or via Zoom. Um, whatever's convenient so that you you know can connect if you need advising about something or you're having a problem and you want to talk about it we're available um, to meet with you and so i do think it is highly interactive um, and i'm really glad that we're able to get to know students and we actually continue to work with alumni as i mentioned on presentations and publications um, and we know that students in the program actually connect and network and collaborate um, outside of the program during their time in the program and even when they graduate. So I think that that really is evidence of what a interactive and collaborative environment the program really is. 
And then what resources and support services are there available to students um, that are online? Yes, I am so glad to talk about this because I think that there can be a misconception that in online programs, right, the services aren't really there for online students. And I know, Anastasia, you mentioned that we have, you know, two physical campuses, but I will tell you that BayPath has devoted a good amount of resources to our online students. And so students have access to library and academic resources. And when I say access the library, I mean, there's literally a librarian that you can call or set a meeting with that can help you with literature searches and finding articles for you know, your research project and things like that. Um, there's also writing support, mentoring, career services. Students are assigned an advisor in the program. In addition, you have your subject matter expert and faculty that's gonna support you through the research project courses. So there's a lot of resources and support. There's even other online resources where you can have your paper checked for grammatical errors. And there's a writing person that we can refer you to if you, you know, need additional writing help. Um, so there really are a wealth of resources out there. And I think that that's something that we really do well at BayPath is supporting those online students and actually having resources that are available to them. I think I mentioned IT, right, is available nights and weekends. And so are the faculty. and we're, we're here to support students so that they can achieve their goal, right, of getting a doctoral degree. And I think it's important that to offer a program and that the university offers services that can support people through that process while they're working and going back to school and managing their family lives. what a typical week will look like in terms of coursework so people kind of get an idea of what they might get themselves into. Sure, so it obviously varies from week to week, but we have thoughtfully put together this program so that you shouldn't have any, you know, week or two that you're, you know, overwhelmed in two courses. Um, we try to stagger things and we actually ask students to let us know if you know they're in two courses and things you know overlap in some way with two projects due at one time um, so that we can adjust things and make it right more feasible for you to be able to do um, so that's important to us to have a flexible program that can support students while they're working um, and i know that the faculty are on board with that vision for our program as well um, so a typical week, students, we do recommend that you are in Canvas three to four times a week, that you are doing weekly readings, you are watching videos or lectures online, that you're participating in either a written or video discussion. Um, in addition, you might be like doing some small component of a project that's like, you know, completed over the course of a number of weeks. Um, but there's always flexibility with that. Um, and as I mentioned, there's a break in the middle of the semester. So that's always a good time if, you know, students need a little bit of extra time on something. There's that break in the middle where they can catch up if things have been busy at work or at home. Um, so that's kind of what a typical week is like where you're engaging in Canvas, doing readings, watching videos and lectures, participating in a discussion, probably right looking up some resources to support either an assignment that you're working on or the discussion that you're participating in. Um, I think that's pretty representative of a week. And then I love this question when it comes up is really what makes um, our program unique and different than another program um, that's similar? Yes, so I've mentioned a few of them, but I will, you know, just bring you back to them. And you know, Anastasia, I could talk about this much longer. I'll try to keep it succinct, um, but I am happy to talk more with any students who are interested. So we offer small class sizes. I think that individualization is a very, very unique feature of our program. The fact that we have these different concentrations um, and that they are grounded in existing programs at BayPath. So you are learning from faculty who are experts in that concentration area, and that you are also getting to learn about health science, right? Those core courses and research, that our class sizes are small, and that we can tailor the plan of study and your schedule to meet your needs. So that individualization on many levels, right, I think is definitely something that sets us apart. 
um, including the support services. Then the next thing is the way that we do the research project. The fact that it is a sequence of three courses that you are in a you know, very small learning community with peers and faculty right, that are there to support and help you through that process is very different from other programs. And then finally, I think that our online support, I just want to go back to that, is really, really strong for virtual students. That community that we are able to create, that you can attend things like Journal Club as a distance doctoral student is really unique um, out there amongst doctoral programs. That you can publish with faculty and work on research with faculty um, is unique for an online program. Um, so I think all of those things really set us apart. And I think it all comes together in a way that shows that we're here to support students and really helping them achieve their dream of getting a doctoral degree is something that right is rewarding for us. Um, and that's what we're really here to do. Yeah, and I can't tell you enough how many times I've spoken to students and they constantly say they love um, the 12 different concentrations they can choose from. I mean, that's just so unique. They can really, really tap into their interest or what's related to their work. It's just so, it's fantastic. So I get that feedback over and over and over again as I speak with students. Um, but um, as we wrap up, if you are interested in applying, please do so right on the Bay Path University website. I'll reach out to you and guide you through the entire process, make it as easy and seamless as possible. Um, but please don't hesitate to reach out to Dr. Watson and I. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions and help you along your journey um, within a Doctor of Health Science program. But thank you so much, and I hope to hear from each and every one of you. Thank you.